Hi, my name's Gemma and I'm mummy to Izzy who is nine, Ollie who is six, Mason who is four and baby Ottilie who has just turned eight months old. Having four children over the years I have changed a lot of nappies and the worst thing ever is when they get nappy rash. It's uncomfortable for them and it's just not nice. So I'm here today to share with you my top tips for preventing nappy rash. In the early days you change a lot of nappies regularly because they feed little and often um, but the stage we're at now where Ottilie is weaning I tend to find we get a lot more dirty and wet nappies. So this is my daily routine to keep nappy rash at bay and help care for her delicate skin. So as soon as Ossily wakes up in the morning we change her nappy, especially now that she's a little bit older and she's sleeping longer through the night. Her nappy is usually quite wet when she wakes up, so first things first, quick change. On the subject of having wet nappies overnight because they're sleeping in them for longer, I found a top tip is to use a plus size nappy. So Ossily will wear a size 5 nappy in the day, but a 5 plus at night. Now it was only when I had my third child that I actually realised that the plus didn't mean that the nappy was a bigger size, but that it was more absorbent. I'm not sure if that's just me, um, but I was quite surprised to find that out. So we now use plus size nappies at night to keep her drier for longer. So now that Ossie is sleeping through the night a lot more, I don't tend to change her in the night unless she wakes up because she's wet or dirty. My boys never ever worried if they were wet or had a dirty nappy, but Ottilie gets very disgruntled if she's had a poo or a wee and likes to be changed straight away. So she will definitely let us know if she needs changing during the night. Uh, but generally I will just leave her unless she wakes us. When I had my first baby nine years ago, I remember my mum saying, you always need to use a nappy cream because you don't want them getting nappy rash. And so it's something that I've always done, particularly after they've had a pooey nappy, I will always use nappy cream just as a preventative measure. However, Pseudocreme now have Pseudocreme Care and Protect, which is a product that can be used at every change. Care and Protect is a protective barrier cream and has a convenient flip top lid for when you're changing nappies. There's nothing worse than getting nappy cream all over you while you're dealing with a wriggling baby. When we have some time at home where we have nowhere to be, I always make sure that nappy free time is a priority. So I will pop Ottilie's changing mat down or a towel. We're quite lucky that we've got wooden floors, so it doesn't matter if we do have a leakage. Um, but I lie her down on towels or on the changing mat and just let her kick about with no nappy on it. They absolutely love doing it and it helps get fresh air down there and helps dry everything out and means that they're not sat in a wet nappy all day. So finally, before Ottilie goes to bed, we give her a bath, usually to get her all nice and clean because as she is now weaning tea time ends in carnage and she ends up with food in her hair and all over her so it's always nice to get them clean before bed. I then tend to let her air dry whilst she has her last feed of the day and then put on some nappy cream just before she goes to bed. I hope this video has been helpful in giving you some ideas on how to prevent nappy rash for your little one. Thanks for watching, bye!